Good morning, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior Q. And these are my potatoes that I planted in the cereal bags. And last night I watered them, but it was dark, so I didn't see that some of them had gotten their little roots exposed. So that tells me their little heads are poking out there. We need to put some more soil on them. Now, have you ever had that moment where you don't mind that? That's just recycling. <laughs> I've been trying to clean up this mess out here. Notice I said trying. That. This was in a bucket out here on my balcony all winter long. And what this was, <laughs> was a bucket I apparently had planted some sweet potatoes in to grow flips and forgot them. Or somehow they got shuffled outside and they weren't supposed to be outside. So, of course, they froze. They got snowed on. They disintegrated. Which means this soil is nice and rich. Um, it also stunk really bad. So, I cooked it. Um... But that doesn't, you know, take out the nutrients of the fact that there's all this great stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cooked, pretty much compost, onto these potatoes. Cover them up. And um, that's just what we're going to do today. I forgot my digger. I had to go back and get it. Don't throw away your aluminum cans, folks. I clean these out, I put them into my dishwasher and get them nice and sterile, and I keep them. Sometimes I use them to put buckets on, to lift the buckets up a little. You never know, they're really handy. I don't plant in them, but they're handy for other things. Alright, so I try to do that um, and record, but there's just no way that happened. What you want to make sure is that your tubers are never showing their roots. Or the little tube that you put in there. The, the potato, you know. You don't want that. That's bad. Yes, my fingers are dirty. I'm a gardener. Get over it. <laughs> it's going to happen. Dirt happens, folks. Dirt happens. So I've covered every single one of those with that nice, rich, Pretty much compost. So that no part of them are showing. Not the not the tuber. Okay, there. Not the tuber, not the roots, not the eyes, nothing is showing. There we go. And you see I've got these folded over. That's because I'm gonna continue healing those up. I'm gonna continue adding soil to them every time the little you know, the little eye peeks up out at me. I'm, I'm going to put some more soil on there. So that's why. And these are nice, long bags. I think when I unrolled it, it came to about here. You can't really tell. But I'm not unrolling it. It takes way too much. <laughs> so there we go. One, two, three, four five and i still have more potatoes i don't need seed potatoes mr robert i don't have to go buy seed potatoes i have never bought a seed potato all i do is get potatoes donated to me from farms through different um you know projects and, and stuff like that and um you just leave them on my counter for two or three days and go to make potato salad and then bad boys got eyes I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to buy any seed potatoes every single time. My kids want potato salad or homemade fries or roasted potatoes. I go to make them and my potatoes are sitting there on the counter in a bag with eyeballs. I just cut the eyeballs off, let them scab over, and plant them. Not just the eyes. <laughs> not, not just the eyes, okay? I, I cut a, a good enough piece where it's going to actually grow. Um, so that's what we got right now. 
that and a mess. Yeah, we, we won't go into that. Um, so before anybody told me that you cannot grow <laughs> chocolate mint from seed, I was stupid enough to buy some. This is the third year in a row. Nothing, my friends, nothing. Everything else I had out here, with the exception of my Egyptian spinach, has already sprouted and been up potted. So I am fairly certain that they were telling me the truth. You cannot grow chocolate mint from seed. Third year in a row. Nothing. Not a and this is the first year I've done this outside. I usually start them inside, and I have yet to get anything. We won't go into that strawberry. I saved it from the community garden. I should have left it there. <laughs> it's all kinds of gnarly over there. Um, I am going to trim it back and see if it'll come back to life. <sighs> but the other two died. So, you know. All right, that's all I wanted to share with y'all is me putting well-cooked accidental compost into my potato bags. Y'all have a great day. Bye.